I was reading about some research that was coming out of organizational studies around compassion in the workplace. I just was really captivated by this notion of compassion as an opportunity for growth and change. How can we create conditions in schools for teachers and administrators to live out their life in the school in a way that helps them to grow and learn and develop and see new ways and new potentials? Positive emotion, engagement, relationship, meaning, achievement. That to us really resonated with the work of teaching and learning in school. Because if you want really amazing work, you bring people together. We looked at designing research that would help us uncover stories of teachers who are already experiencing a sense of what we had been calling flourishing in the classroom. So looking at ways of understanding the stories and feeding the stories back into the system in a way that helped to grow well-being as part of the research. We did case studies, so we spent time in school systems with teachers and administrators, following them in their classrooms to see, you know, what does it look like to flourish and to get their stories. We brought together researchers as well as participants and practitioners from across Canada to hold these learning symposiums. And so we were trying to gather as much data as we could so that others might see them as models for how to uncover the flourishing that already exists in their system in ways that lets them continue to build and grow it. I truly believe that the world can become a better place through individuals and small groups and large groups coming together and learning ways to live well and better together. What I now call myself is I'm a radical idealist. <laughs>